Hi guys, welcome back to Video Pro Vlogger official channel. In this video, we will show you how to use Video Pro Vlogger to create a short character introduction video. If you are interested, keep watching. Well, now let me show you how to create a video of this style with Video Pro Vlogger. First, we need to prepare some video clips or pictures of the character. Then, pick a piece of music that matches style. And open the software. Create a new project. Import all the materials into the library. and put the music onto the track. We play to hear the beats of the music. Well, the rhythm is very strong. Next, we need to fill the picture to the rhythm. If you are not good at a music beat or sort of the things, you can try click here to activate the audio editor. Then you go with the audio analyzer. Use the auto mark tool to mark out the beats. You can use either of these two options. Once you've marked out the beads, you can then start filling the frame. Arrange your materials we prepare to logical order. Well, like this. And then it is time to integrate some tricks to increase the richness of the image. We can see that a motion has been used in the beginning of the video. Thus, we select the first clip and click here to enter the motion editor. Add a mark at the beginning here. Then, adjust the size of the display area in the window, like this. Then click on the timeline again where the motion ends and insert a mark as well. Again, resize the display area. Then, click at the very end of the video to add a keyframe. Click apply and the effect is complete. Let's play and see. Well, not bad. Next, let's look at a second clip, which comes as a vertical clip. I wish to place three of them in parallel to fill the frame. Thus, I need to place a second clip from the library on the overlay track. You can see that the size of the clip on the overlay track is smaller than that of the main track. Find transform in the inspector on the right. Click height. This will bring it to the same size as the main track. Then, we double-click the preview window. As this little box shows up, select the material and drag it to the left. Pretty much to this position, and that's it.
Next, we click here to add another overlay track. And then, repeat the actions all over. Well, that's pretty much it. Let's take a quick look again. And we can see that the three clips in the original video appear sequentially from left to right. Thus, let's do a little bit of adjusting to match your music beats. Let's play it. Well, not bad. Now let's work on the third clip. And as you can see, the same as before here, we also have a motion effect. Thus, let me quickly finish editing this one. For the fourth clip, we use the same stacking effect. So, here we go through it once again using the same methods we shared earlier. Alright, let's look at the fifth clip. This one adds a vertical movement of the camera moving from the bottom to the top. Go to the motion editor. Click to add a keyframe at the beginning of the video. Here, since we want the video to display in a 16 to 9 ratio. Thus, we come to the bottom right corner here, the frame control and change your parameter to 16 to line. Then, adjust the size of the display area in the window bow, like this. Then click again on the timeline where the movement ends. Add a mark to the endpoint as well. Also, resize the display area. Then click to add a keyframe in the end of the video. Click on Apply. We can see that the screen is yet to be filled. Come to the inspector on the right and find Transform. Click Width. This way the screen is spread out. Let's play it and see. Yep, not bad. For the sixth segment, we can also use motion effect to make it work. Open the motion editor. Add a keyframe at the beginning of the video as we did earlier. We focus the display area on the model's face. Then, add another keyframe a little bit later to make the display area bigger. Finally, we add a keyframe at the end. Click Apply. There you can notice a fade out effect at the end of the original clip. Find a fade effect in the transition. Drag and drop it to the end of the video.
Then adjust the length of the fact. Let's play it and see. Well, it works pretty well. You can also add a text whenever you want to convey more information to the audience. Finally, don't forget to click export to save and export the video. Alright, now you've reached the end of today's video about how to create a character introduction video in VidiPro Vlogger. I think you've got it. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe our channel if you haven't yet. We will see you soon in our next tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.